Greetings! Last time we learned how to use production orders. Today we'll talk about the document named Production Without Order. The company plans to manufacture several hoverboards with seats to display at an exhibition. To do this, the company purchased the seats and the fasteners and received items from the warehouse. All the materials and works are proportionally distributed between the finished products. Production without orders is mainly used when we manufacture products without a production plan or a customer order. In other words, it's production on the fly, against unknown demand. Production without orders is similar to production under order, but it has several limitations. Production cycle must start and end in the same month and only because must be written off in the reference month. Now create three products. We already done it off-screen. Hoverboat Super Seat X1. Product kind, finished products. Seat. Product kind, purchase and other products. Fastening element. Product kind, purchase and other products. Let's indicate that parts are received at the warehouse in workshop 1. Use the document name Purchase of Goods and Services to do this. Specify supplier as Light Company. Seat 16 pieces, 7 euros. Fastening element 16 pieces, 2 euros. Now it's time to create a new document for production without order. Go to Manufacturing, Production Documents, All. Click Create and select Production without order. Select Set Company to SBS Manufacturing Department as Workshop 1 Now let's take a look at the options we can choose in the Group Expense field. By Products This option means that we can record material and labor costs for each product with a unique characteristic. By Products and Assignments We record material and labor costs for each product with a unique characteristic and for each assignment. By product bill of materials. We record material costs for each product, product option, a group of products described in a bill of materials. By product bill of materials and assignments. We record material costs for each product, product option, group of products, or assignment. And by document, this option is a bit more complicated. We take all material and labor costs specified in their production without all the document and distributed between all the products listed in the document. Costs are not specified. The document only contains data on the production amounts, not the costs. To specify the production costs, use allocation of materials and works and expense allocation to product costs. Select by document. Now go to the products tab. Add the products. Hoverboard Super Seat X1 Color Blue Set quantity to one piece Set recipient to Workshop 1 storeroom Now go to the Materials and Works tab Add products, a seat and a fastening element Set quantity to one piece for each of them Set warehouse to Workshop 1 storeroom Set costing item to main materials. Add another product. Have about special X1. Color blue. Set quantity to one piece. Set warehouse to watch your one storeroom. Set costing item to semi finished products. Now go to the Labor Cost tab. Set work kind to assembly. Set quantity to 4 hours. Set expense department to workshop 1. Set SNE to teams installers. Set cost and item to payroll. Great! Now post and close. Create another production without other document by copying the document you've already created. Change the characteristics in Products and Materials and Works tabs. Color – Black
Great, now pause and close. Let's now run the product release report. To do this, go to Manufacturing, Manufacturing Report, Product Release. Let's set Workshop 1 and Workshop 2 as the Manufacturing Department filter and click Run Report. The report shows which finished and semi-finished products, including the ones we issued today, were produced by Workshop 1 and Workshop 2 accordingly. Now create production without all the documents for the two remaining hoverboards yourself. Next time we'll talk about production with customer-supplied materials.